Well, actually, bunion is Latin for bump, B-U-M-P, bump of bone. And that's basically what a bunion is. But what will happen is, as you see the, the um, annotation there, the first metatarsal is deviated. So the first metatarsal is angulated. And this can occur really at, at age three, at age four, at age five, where the tendency for the beginning stages of a bunion um, can present themselves. And that is ultimately the first sign of a potential bunion. Now associated with that, as you can see on the screen, is the big toe deviating in the opposite direction. So the metatarsal goes out, the big toe goes in, and you get what we call buckling of the joint and a prominence of the first metatarsal head and the presence of a bunion. Secondarily uh, with bunions, you can get osteoarthritis or degenerative disease of that joint. And you can see the sort of the shaded white discoloration or coloration there demonstrating a wearing away of the joint. So as the bunion progresses and becomes more enlarged, um, you can get disease of the joint. Interestingly, different types of um, arthritis can affect the first metatarsal phalangeal joint not just osteoarthritis, but rheumatoid arthritis can affect that joint or actually all the joints in the foot. And gouty arthritis, uh, many of you have probably heard of gout occurring in the foot and that joint that you're looking at, the big toe joint, is the most common occurrence for gout. And gout can present with a very hot and warm and extremely painful big toe joint. And you can see sort of the red coloration there demonstrating the inflammation. Typically, we will look and see whether the patient has a flat foot deformity or a flexible arch. The flexible arch can then cause the bunion to worsen. The more pressure on the inside of the foot as the foot flattens, the more pressure on the first metatarsal causing it to further deviate. So if, if the uh, flat foot deformity is identified, an orthotic, which is an insert in the shoe, can be used to at least stabilize the foot and hopefully prevent the bunion from worsening. Uh, in the old days, back when I had a full head of hair, we were usually <laughs> doing um, custom orthotics because the over-the-counter orthotics were, were flimsy and really were not uh, helpful at all. Well, times have changed, obviously, and there are numerous um, over-the-counter orthotics. If a condition is extremely painful and for whatever reason is non-surgical, sometimes we can inject the area if there's a bursitis associated with the bunion. A little corticosteroid injection in the joint will settle the joint down. Um, not necessarily a permanent cure, but definitely help with um, reducing inflammation, hence reducing pain, and allowing the patient to at least go ahead with a trip, extended hike, extended walks for a period of time. And whether that period of time is a week, two weeks, two months, or two years is really hard to tell.